एंड वेलकम टू अ ब्रांड न्यू वीडियो थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग कीप द कैमरा रोलिंग बराबर ही बैठा हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अ ब्रांड न्यू वीडियो एंड यू आर वॉचिंग द बाइचिन बुटिया फुटबॉल स्कूल्स यूट्यूब चैनल इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब प्लीज डू सो एंड आई एम हियर प्रेजेंट विद अ लार्ज crowd that we have an amazing team that we have it's the first ever time i think we are going to uh, speak to the girls team which is present here at the bbfs barns residential academy and i must say they are nothing less than champions because from the time they we started this program they have been competing in different tournaments and also winning uh, so we'll get to know a little more about them i'm also joined by their coach ankit savant uh, firstly thank you so much girls we are doing this if you can see i'm not sure if you would probably uh, we had a bad day rainy day today and uh, still we managed to do so thank you so much girls i owe it to you all so thank you very much we'll start with you know if each of you can introduce your names uh, we'll start with mitali hi my name is mitali deshpande and i'm from thane hi my name is fragrance riwa and i'm from meghalaya shillong hi my name is bonifia shilai i'm from shillong meghalaya Hi, my name is Taru Yadav. I am from Mumbai. <coughs> Hi, my name is Ribahu Nishakar Shiyang. I am from Shillong. Hi, my name is Deepika Pal. I am from Delhi. Hi, my name is Sanfira Nangrum. I am from Meghalaya, Shillong. Okay, so let's begin with our conversations. I'll first start with the coach that we have, Ankit Savant here. Ankit, when you know it's been 12 years. I think we're into the 13th year of Bhaiyam Budhya Football Schools, and uh, we think we started the residential academy program 2018. If I'm not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So, and after years later, we are in 2020, 22. Uh, we started this girls' residential academy program. You are the head coach. Tell us the journey that you know you wanted to get started with the girls' team, and now you are here. Uh, if you can just tell our listeners and viewers about it. So, uh, we started this bands program last year. That is 2021, and uh, the facility here is amazing. And Akash, uh, who is the academy manager here. uh nikhil uh, and myself we were discussing about the possibility of uh, starting the girls program and it all started from there where in which uh, we uh, you know introduced we shared our will to start a girls residential academy and we received the a positive reply from the organization and um, yeah we are here and we have seven amazing players from different parts of the country it's been a journey full of competitions i would say because from the time we started here the only thing that we have done is played matches and i think that is a good thing to do and a good problem to have and uh, i hope the girls have been enjoying it well it's definitely a good problem to have and let me plug in right there i think that's what everyone are waiting for right to play matches and have enough game time so if you're still wondering and if you're a girl out there uh, who loves football even if you don't know how to play it's fine if you have that passion uh, we have some amazing coaches to get you on board so just pick up your phone and you are you'll have the number in the description so call and let us uh, let us help you with uh, starting your dream let me get start on uh, having a conversation with our players uh, deepika i'll start with you uh from delhi and you've come to bombay it's a different different city different vibe right uh but how why do you like football i know it's a quite a you probably can't kind of you know imagine the answer for it it's fine but uh, how did you start and why are you here and how did you land here it's been 5 years I, uh, since i'm playing football of course i i was already having interest in sports i always uh, participated in my school and all things but I wanted to take it as my career so I chose football and I started playing I firstly played in some academies I started then I gained knowledge about football and then I I wanted to become a professional footballer since then it was my passion I did everything what I could do then I came to BBFS they gave me many opportunities I played for Garhwal because of BBFS which is and all 
in 2022 april they gave me one more opportunity to come here bbfs bans residential academy uh, it was a tough decision i didn't know that i i could be here or not but uh, yeah i i came and i really liked it well definitely going to come a bit speak about the opportunities that you girls got so as ankit mentioned you have been playing since the time you are here which is a good thing uh polly i'm going to come to you now uh you're from shillong and shillong is known as one of the hot beds of uh, football right so where did the love for the sport start and uh, <laughs> how do you fall in love with the game and uh, then you came here and how is your experience Lingkong has done on that guy football and do south nam the na yeng na sem ro ki support bhai anga ki on that guy ba the practice ba e kre ka kot ro divan kre ba the na zang on that guy ake kane bbfs na do mental snami as poli said she started playing football at the age of 4 in her family all of them supported her and they also said that with while playing football her studies also should go should be balanced and she said she ha- bbfs has really helped her and she has joined bbfs this year only so taru coming to you uh, let us know about how you fell in love with the game and also you being the first uh, girl to join the bbfs bans residential academy the first one to join how does it feel what's your experience been like so far i've been playing football since 8 months and after coming here i learned a lot my coaches helped me a lot in all the stuffs i'm quite happy with my performance and that's all so now when you when you girls came for the first time to the campus right i'm sure you are meeting each other for the first time right so if you can tell us how the friendship has grown because as it when you play as a team you need to also have friendship off the pitch because you're a team at the end of the day so mitali would you like to share about that please when we met for the first time it was very new i'd say it was very it was a big adjustment because even there was there was this language barrier also it was you can say it was like it was there were groups formed the four of them and the three of us because of the language but after playing together and you know talking to each other it took some time but now i'd say we're very close we speak to each other uh language is not really a problem anymore i think we understand what we want to say even off the pitch we're always together it's very fun with each other making new friends and all from different parts of the country it's a it's a very nice experience we always laugh it's it's very nice now i'm coming back to mitali once again because uh, you were part of a football school right you were part of the football centers that we had in bombay and uh, how has that journey and transition been like from fs to the residential academy because uh, i'm sure it's definitely different to different programs uh, over there you choose to go when the days are there but here your your life revolves literally revolves around football uh, so if you can tell us about that journey and what has the shift been like i think it it was definitely a good decision to come here previously before when i was in mumbai i i played exactly on big days it was very different i'd say very very different and even then my coach was ankit sir only uh one day we had our online sessions going on and he told us that he's not in mumbai anymore he's come to bans he's living here uh, since then we've been behind him if there's any girls program let us know one day he did let us know about it uh convincing myself to come here was a very big thing convincing my parents was even a bigger thing i'd say uh because education and everything everything but at the end it worked out it was once i came here it was a very big adjustment i've never lived away from home new experiences and of course football is amazing here yeah that's it i think it's a great opportunity a lot more opportunities to come ankit sir nikhil sir rajiv sir all of them yeah so ankit even for you like being a coach at the fs and then moving to ra right to different programs to different things to handle uh, it's not going to be easy uh and then you also now have the girls program because i believe you're also training the boys team as well um how is the experience been like and what have how have you evolved as a coach so i started my footballing journey with bbfs uh in mumbai and uh, like mitali mentioned i used to just coach on weekends then later on as the program evolved we moved to weekdays 
ఐ మీన్ ఫైవ్ 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 డేస్ ఇన్ అ వీక్ సమ్వేర్ ఐ వాజ్ కోచింగ్ దేర్ అండ్ ఫ్రమ్ దేర్ మూవింగ్ ఇన్ టు అ రెసిడెన్షియల్ అకాడమీ వేర్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఆల్ సెవెన్ డేస్ యూ హ్యావ్ మార్నింగ్ ఈవినింగ్ సెషన్స్ సమ్టైమ్స్ యూ డోంట్ గెట్ రెస్ట్ బట్ యూ నో వెన్ యూ కమ్ ఆన్ ద ఫీల్డ్ యూ సీ ద ప్లేయర్స్ అండ్ ఐ యాక్చువలీ ఫీల్ దట్ ద ప్లేయర్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ మోర్ డిఫికల్ట్ ఫర్ ద ప్లేయర్స్ బికాస్ దే హ్యావ్ టు గో టు స్కూల్ ఆఫ్ టు ప్రాక్టీస్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ అట్ ఆల్ ఈజీ లుకింగ్ అట్ దెమ్ ఇట్ మోటివేట్స్ అస్ యూ నో ఇఫ్ దే కెన్ డూ ఇట్ ఇఫ్ దే కెన్ యూ నో కమ్ టు ప్రా ప్రాక్టీస్ ఇన్ ద మార్నింగ్ గో దెన్ గో టు స్కూల్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ హ్యావ్ లంచ్ దెన్ అగైన్ కమ్ అట్ ఫోర్ ఓ క్లాక్ ఫర్ ట్రైనింగ్ దెన్ వై కెన్ వీ డూ ఇట్ సో ఐ వుడెంట్ సే ఇట్స్ బీన్ డిఫికల్ట్ definitely it is because they have made it easier for us you know looking at their energy uh, it's always been that no i have to be there uh, or and i would say they have been the biggest motivation for all four coaches here in the campus now let's talk about the opportunities and the tournaments that you have played so far and as ankit has already mentioned that you were playing since you all came here uh, one of the school tournaments that you all were part of that play or played in bombay which was a cluster of schools who were icse board came together and played and most of you girls uh, you all won that tournament and some of you got an opportunity to represent like in the nationals we all also played for the garhwal heroes uh, team uh, so if you can just tell me that experience of playing at that level because you're already exposed uh, to competition and stuff um uh, deepika you can share a little more about it so recently two months prior i played for garhwal so actually this was my third time when i played for garhwal i i have already played two times before this time it was very difficult i mean the competition was uh, at a higher level this time uh many players were from different different states in every team this time and it was difficult to gain uh, playing also but yeah i played and it was a very good experience there were very good players i had a good experience i faced many uh, difficult teams yeah we didn't win but uh, our team played really well we tried our best the coaches uh, really helped us a lot in every way in total we had about 16 matches and it was very difficult like about just two three days gap we had and we played full 90 90 minutes game it was yeah it was tough and it was a great experience we stayed together all of us two months we enjoyed a lot and we uh, it was a good experience uh bonny coming to you now so you were one of the star players uh among the others as well but uh, why don't you share some of your experience that playing in these tournaments that you've got since i joined bbfs residential academy i've got a lot of opportunities i have played the fdwl and it was a great opportunity it was a great experience i since i joined i uh, bbfs i've got many opportunities like playing subroto and cisc it was a great experience i've gained more knowledge in playing and i feel like uh, bbfs has really helped me a lot uh riba coming to you uh please tell us your experience and uh, how has it how has it been for you you know even you are from shillong you had to leave your home come here all the way and please let us know uh dingkong pang i know you play more bola i ka sap yang a i ka sap yang a man like football ta ngamla mod ai ngoi blai ta din pa ngai tres tom ba kum ba blai la ai nga ka sap ta ai pe de kam hak ba ta sap kum ju hi ngai sam ru ki la ya support yang a support nga bang nga football sini stai ta ki ai ki ajin support be nga ta nga start bla ka football nyo snam kerta ta din tu nga sulak kai nga ka sini satai ta din pa nga join bibi kick start ta hendrik so ila arab yang nga ban people sini ya as riba said she said that first of all i like to thank god who has who has helped her who has given her the talent and who has guided her till here and who has blessed her all these past years and till this moment and second of all she like to thank her family who has been supporting her and who have been helping her she started playing football when she was 7 years old she just started playing in local matches local tournaments and then she joined the grassroots academy in shillong kickstart and hendrik sir who was coach there same like police 
he helped uh, Reba to join this BBFS Academy and she really liked to thank all the coaches. Well, that was Reba, guys, for you. And uh, as you know, we should also thank uh, Boni for being our beloved uh, translator. Uh, well, coming to Mame now, uh, can you share your experience? How has it been like for you? Uh, it's been a year or so that you're here and uh, once again, you're also from Shillong. So, so let us know how has it been playing so many tournaments and everything. So firstly, I thankful to God because He gave me a talent. So I have to hard work and never give up. So I was started playing. I was in 13 years. So now I came here and joined BBFS. So I thank, thank you BBFS. I really like here and I make more friends. So thank you sir and BBFS also. And all my friends and my family support me. So thank you, thank you very much. Well, coming to the concluding parts over here, we I'll, I'll have uh, Taru share some of the concluding part where, you know, Taru, I may ask you, what is the way ahead? What are you looking forward to uh, being at the Residential Academy here and also to all the friends who are watching, all the girls who are probably watching this video, what would you like to tell them? Uh, I have come here to play football. I want every other girl to be passionate about it. I want to play for India. I really, really want to do something for my country. It's one of my dream. I feel like every other girl should play football, learn something new. Here we spend time with our coaches, Ankit sir, Raji sir, Oja sir, Nikhil sir, and our physio, ma'am Madhura. I think this is one of my best experience after coming here and I think every other girl should join this academy. Thank you, Taru. Now, finally, I'll come to uh, the coach as well and then I think uh, <laughs> Boni has a special message as well. But Coach Ankit is as a coach and you want to start the girls' academy here. You've done that. Your first step is clear. But how would you encourage furthermore going down, you know, for more girls to join the sport? And we see women's football is improving. Uh, so what do you have to say to all the girls watching this? So I would say the way forward is uh, thankfully AFF has started with the under-17 league for the girls as well uh, from this year. So we hope to participate in that uh, from this region. Apart from that, there are many competitions that, you know, we, we are going to play. Uh, apart from that, like BBFS is doing trials in 100 cities. So I would like to encourage the girls Please come out in your city, give trials. If it is not happening in your city, you can go to the nearby city that the trial is happening in. And I can promise you that it will be a great experience for you. A mix of learning and development. Yeah, if you're passionate about football, if you want to play football, if you, you know, think it as a career, I would say this can be a huge stepping stone for you. And I would like to encourage everyone to play football and contribute to what is the sport. Well, now over to Boni who has a special message to all the girls watching this from Shillong and the special message is going to be in Khasi. So over to you, Boni. Manga Boni, but ni lain got sao got hang ni don ka message na benta bar ko ki prayer la kai football hapo Shillong mde tangi kinte sinrang ru re kam tami kinte nga ko aban ay message ba wat la pi what lab pimpat boy ra kane ba kane ka academy ni don ni la ne pimpat yo ban kai hakum kini ki football tournament pimpat yo opportunity what you what you do jinkerman yai yai tre shi tom ba fin fin sa kan sa poi kalat fin sa yo ka lat ba fin wan na kai ki tournament kum kini but nga kane ka message nga mod ai ya ki khna khasi khna khasi apo shillong they tang ki kin thairu henre ki shanrang rukum jo bon ngi ha shilong im da yo than hi kalat kum kane ban wan ha kini ki academy ban yala kai kum ni ki tournament ne ki league bangi la yo ban kai kum ki delhi premier league e ki nga nga ko ban ong ye phi ba what you do jinkerman henre nang tre shi tombet na mar kan sapoi ka singi fi yo ban khat yo so jong ajing job te niru Barok sangut ni aingu ningkong ning sap ha ying hasem ningkong ning sap tu you blay hi balak dan ni kabat ni bat ha ying hasem ru ki balak yarap yang ni nandu kabas sedang bangi la sedang nak kai football haduk mentaru dekum ju nga nga aimen siem ya firu ba wajudu jinkerman 
but nang treshitam khuble shibon thank you so much boni and thank you so much to all the girls for having taken time out and you know even for the reshoot thank you so much all the very best and hopefully we will continue doing some more chats and getting our viewers uh, to getting to know them better and hopefully we have a bigger team in the future as well to all the girls and everyone watching join the bbfs bond stressful academy it's the first one for the girls uh, so please do come join us and uh, you have various opportunities to play so all the details will be in the description below thank you so much once again and uh, do subscribe to the channel as well would you want to end coach with the bbfs I want yes chant okay go for it 3 2 1 bbfs yes, yes! Cristiano Ronaldo <laughs>